Hi there Shave fans, welcome to Kevy Shaves, nice to see you, nice to be back here in the bathroom shaving with all my friends. <laughs> How you doing? I hope your weekend is going well, I hope you are enjoying it. Um, it's Saturday today so um, yeah, I hope you're having a relaxing weekend. Okay, so uh, this is going to be a long video I can tell. I've got, um, I've got lots to talk about. <laughs> so if you like long videos, fine. If you don't, Skip forward, just keep hitting the screen, tap, 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 and it will go forward. Okay, what are we using today? Let's get into it. The cream for today, cream, yes, is the Art of Shaving Sandalwood. Comes in this massive tub, um, five fluid ounce, or 150ml, screw top. It has a, a nice lid on it here, and there's the cream there. Really nice scent on it, beautiful. Art of shaving, good good products. So that's the cream I will be using. Um, the brush I will be using, well, let me show you the bowl first. The bowl I will be bowl lathering the cream in is uh, not the Kevy Shaves bowl. This is a, a new bowl that I received yesterday from another uh, YouTube wet shaver called Flash Boredom. He has his own wet shaving channel, so I'll put a link to his channel in the description. He's a nice guy. He's, uh, he, some of his videos are very good, funny. He's Welsh, but mm, let's not hold that against him. Uh, we can't all be Scottish. <laughs> um, he advertised the bowl on his channel. Um, there's a store in, in the UK called Morrison's. It's a, like a supermarket. Uh, and there was a plastic bowl that he bought and it had little ridges and he thought it might be nice for uh, bowl lathering. I went to my local store, but I couldn't find it. So I asked Flash if he would get me one and send me it. So he has done that. And here's the bowl here. Uh, as I say, it's plastic. So no chance of breaking it. And I, I hope you can see the ridges in the bottom here and there's little dimples up the side. Yeah, I think it's going to be very good for bowl lathering. And it fits in my hand nicely. I've got quite big hands anyway, but um, yeah, it's a, just a nice size. It's not very deep, but yeah, it was, um, I think Flash told me it was £3.50, but I'm sure when he advertised it on his channel, it was only £2, but um, yeah, he's took the video down, so I don't know how much it is. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Yeah, so here's the bowl. I'm going to be bowl lathering in that. Uh, the razor for today, uh, a razor I haven't used before. Uh, this is a Yaki razor. Uh, and here it is here. Double open comb. And they've changed. They used to have the, the branding on the top there. But they've now changed it so it's, uh, it's underneath here. But this handle is beautiful. I don't know if you can see the knurling on that. Look at that. Really nice, quite a long handle, yeah, but really good. This is in a gunmetal finish. I'll put a link to this razor in the description. And it's a three piece, you screw it apart like that. And these two pieces come apart. And if you'll notice on this head, I don't know whether you'll be able to see it, but it's, um, it's slightly different there underneath. There's kind of little, um, it's shaped at the edges. Can you see that? You see how that just kind of tapers in at the edges there? Yeah, you might be able to see it. You might not be able to, I don't know. Yeah, so um, that's the razor I'll be using. The blade I will be using, it's hot today, is uh, Flash Boredom sent me up some uh, two or three blades and uh, a little bit of a derby stick, which I've never used. Uh, and this is one of the blades, so I'm gonna give that a go today. Now, funnily enough, I was I was looking at them last night on a uh, Connaught Shaving in the UK. Uh, these are made by uh, Treat, Treat Corporation Limited. And it's called, the blade's called a Trig. So, uh, never used one before, so let's give it a go. Nice, double wrapped which I like. Trig. Yeah, made by Treat, so I'm expecting them to be kind of similar. Trig, Silver Edge. And there's the other side. So that will go 
just drop the, the head in the sink. That will go on there like so. Put that on there. And then just screw the handle on. And the blade alignment is spot on. Yeah, you can see there, look, very nice. This looks an aggressive razor, but um, we shall see. Okay, let's uh, show you the brush. Now, as today's Saturday, there's uh, something happening in Windsor. I'm not sure, I think somebody's getting married, so in, uh, in honour of that, God bless you, sir. <laughs> uh, Harry and Megan are getting married today, so I've gone with this brush. This is a, a Yaki, 24 millimeters, synthetic knot, barber shop, or barber pole, sorry, barber pole handle. Yeah, red, white, and blue for the royal wedding. So I'm gonna go with that. And I'm also gonna go with a cold water. I've uh, just come out of the shower, so facial hair is cleaned out, hydrated, ready to go. Um, I will uh, I will rinse with cold water. So cold water's in the sink, so I'm just gonna splash. Actually, what I'll do is first, let's get the cream whipped up. Okay, out of shaving. I'll scoop out a good, good dollop of cream. Look at that, that much. Put it into the bottom of the bowl. I'll wet the brush in the cold water. I'll put the remainder of the cream into the brush. <coughs> so there's the cream in the bottom of the bowl. And let's just uh, start lathering. Yeah, there's nice little ridges in this bowl. So thank you Flash for sending me that. I, uh, I sent him some samples in return, and the money of course. Yeah, so just going to add a little bit of water to that. You can see it's uh, whipping up nicely. A little bit more water. How's everyone? You all good? I hope so. I hope your weekend is going well. The weather here in Scotland all week has been uh, sunny, sunny, sunny. And again today, it's a, it's a beautiful day. So I thought I'd get a, a nice early shave in, then go do some work in the garden. Look at this cream. Yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> the only thing that's uh, the cream's spilling out this bowl and it's really it's uh, quite slippy. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wet my face and then I'll continue lathering on my face. Okay, cold water. Here we go. Okay, um, let's start lathering. Yeah, these. Uh, Art of shaving creams, easy to lather. You don't have to do much to get a nice lather from them. And uh, they're great performers too, perform really well. Just gonna put some of that actually back in the bowl, just around the edges. I've got enough up on my face and in the brush. Well, I'm just going to wipe my hands because I can feel how slick that is. And it's making the brush a little bit slippy. So, that's better. I'll just dip the tips in cold water. Yeah, as you can see, look, it's uh, very easy to lather. I hope the light's okay with the, the sunshine coming in the window there. Yeah, so the royal wedding today at um, midday. I won't be watching it, but I'm sure some of you will. That looks like a nice 
Father. It's a great scent on this. Quite a sweet sandalwood scent. Okay. Right, let's uh, put this into the cold water and we'll get going with the, the trig blade with this uh, Yaki razor. Yes, yeah, beautiful knurling on this handle. Okay, here we go. Great audio feedback from it. It feels um, very smooth. Yeah, there's been a couple of people um, suggested that I do a cold water shave, so... This is for those of you that have asked. Actually, this feels um, quite mild, I would say. It's a nice blade as well. In it feels very smooth. You would think, looking at that, that it uh, that it would be aggressive. Look at that blade; you can see, but it actually feels quite mild. Very nice, very comfortable. Yeah, Yaki are uh, doing great things at the moment with their brushes and razors. If anyone's new to the channel, hello, welcome along. If you see me um, when I shave over my Adam's apple, what I do is uh, I take a gulp and I hold it. If you take a gulp and hold it at the back of your throat, that your Adam's apple kind of disappears into the back of your throat, uh, allowing you to shave over it. Watch, I'll, uh, I'll show you again. You see? That's, uh, so that's the reason I do it. If it looks kind of weird, <laughs> it probably is. <laughs> but that's the reason I do it. That feels like a nice blade. Very smooth. Okay, first pass. Done. Nice residual slickness. Let me rinse this off and I will come back and I'm rinsing with Scottish cold water. Brr. <laughs> what was that? Brr. <laughs> okay, I'll see you in a minute or two. Okay, we are back and that feels excellent slickness. Okay, let's get to uh, lathering up again. Look at that. Yeah, I was watching a, a couple of videos this morning. Well, last night as well, actually. Um, I was watching, a, there's a YouTube wet shaver who I've recommended his channel before called Trevi B. And uh, he was, he made a video where he said he was, uh, well, he didn't say it, it was a kind of silent video where he was pulling the plug on his channel. Just due to kind of personal reasons, I guess. But um, he, look at that. He put out a video, I think it was yesterday or the day before, saying uh, he's kind of been overwhelmed by the response from people with uh, positive comments and stuff like that about his uh, shaving channel. Yeah, as I say, um, he, he put out a video yesterday, very, very personal video, I think. Um, so 
Uh, well done, Trevor. I think that was uh, very gallant of you to do that. Um, so he may be coming back, but he was mentioning how much of a, a good thing this wet shaving community is. And it really is. It's, uh, I'm very proud to be part of it. Um, whether it's just giving each other advice or talking to each other, sending each other little samples of things, about talking about blades, razors, sharing your views on wet shaving. It's a fantastic community. Yeah, it's, a, it's great to be part of. So uh, hopefully, Trevor, you will come back. Just make videos when you feel like it. Um, a lot of people watching these videos don't realise how much um, time and effort goes into making them, which uh, I enjoy it. It is a, a good thing. I really enjoy doing it. But it is quite a bit of work, so I understand what you're going through, Trevor, in that regards. But um, obviously, family comes first, so uh, just sort that out and just make a video when you can, when you feel like it. Uh, but I hope you come back and uh, I'd like to wish you personally all the best. Okay, let's go on with uh, pass number two with this wonderful razor. Cold water. Okay, across the growth. Yeah, it's a mild shaver. But you can see with these uh, open combs, they, they leave little trails of the soap. Just allowing you to kind of go over it again. And um, another video I was watching was Chris Madden or Maiden, is it Chris Maiden or Chris Madden? Another cut above, he's a, a fellow Scot in Australia. Um, and he's just, uh, he's just had an operation. So, Chris, I wish you a speedy recovery. Um, just don't touch it, it'll go, it'll be fine. Um, yeah, speedy recovery for Chris, a fellow Scot. As I say, in Australia. And I was also watching uh, Ken Surfs. Ken's channel is great. He did a video um, when he was in uh, Vegas. I don't know how recent it was. I think it must have been a, just a few days ago. <laughs> and it just looks great. I was in uh, Vegas. Uh, was it two years ago? Yeah, for my, um, me and Mrs. Kebby's 25th wedding anniversary. We went to Vegas and New York. Actually, that's where I got this uh, Art of Shaving Cream. I got it in one of the malls there. I think. A little weeper there. Um, yeah, but Ken's video looks great. From Vegas, I love it in Vegas. It's like a, it's like being in, in a. I can only describe it as a cartoon for adults. Everything's big and bright and colourful, and it's just like, what's going on? It's, <laughs> it's just wild. Excellent, really good fun. Okay, second pass done. Nice residual slickness. Let me rinse with the cold water, and I will come straight back. Okay, back for the third pass, and. Uh, Look how much lather still left in this bowl. There's lots of it. This is a great brush. Beautiful knot, very, very soft. This, uh, this cream feels like silk. Yeah, thinking back to when I got this cream in the uh, Art of Shaving, I think at that time they only had like three or four different scents. They had sandalwood, I think it was lemon and uh, an unscented one. I just looked at the website recently and they've got lots of new, well, not maybe not new, but 
lots of different scents. I know it's a, some people think it's a bit of a rip off. Um, they overcharge for their creams and stuff. But they're good performers. And uh, I was on holiday when I got it, so it was okay. I had money. <laughs> So what does that tell you? I've never bought a tub since. <laughs> I don't have any money. <laughs> okay. That's for the first pass. Against the growth of the hair. Yeah, this razor is uh, mild, but It feels like it would be good for um, buffing like that. And this blade's very nice too. Actually, the, um, the angle on this razor feels slightly steeper. Um, you know, most times you would hold the razor like that, but I can't feel the blade, so it has to be a little bit, just a little bit steeper. And you can hear it now cutting. But very comfortable. And nice to use. Yeah, it has a little bit of a steeper angle. Uh, I don't know if you can maybe see it here. You know, there, look, you can. Uh... What are your plans for the weekend? Um, here in the UK, the royal wedding's going ahead, as I've told you about, and also there's two. Um, Football, or well, soccer as you guys in the States call it, um, cup finals, which is the, the Scottish cup final. And then after that, I think it's the uh, the English league, or the English, all the, the teams from England compete for the, the FA Cup, which is the Football Association. That's one later today in it as well. Okay, three passes done. Let's have a little rinse with the cold water. Nice residual slickness. Uh, let's have a feel about there, there, usual spots. Okay, let's uh. Let's try this uh, razor with a little bit of a uh, buffing. Very good. <laughs> Going uh, back and forward quickly with the blade, very gently. Uh, 
uh, if you if you dig in too much, you'll get razor burn. But <laughs> pardon me, <laughs> if you go back uh, back and forward just very gently. Yeah, this is excellent razor for that. Just little short strokes. BBS, excellent. Okay, let's get some of this cream. There's, <laughs> there's still tons left in this bowl. Plenty enough for a, look at the peaks. Plenty for a face wash. Ah, oh, this is a nice scent. Okay, I'll uh, have a wash with this, I'll leave it on, and I'll rinse it with just cold water again. Look at that. <laughs> and then I'll see you for the bow shave. Beautiful scent. Okay, see you soon. Oh, oh, oh. oh yes. Beautiful. Okay, let's start the post shave with some boots, tea tree and witch hazel. Not much left in this, but enough this big fat head. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, that's a nice shave. Nice and close. Not any signs of weep or anything yet, but um, that might change, you know, as I put the aftershave on sometimes once you start rubbing your face with your hands. Um, that feels good. Okay, um, aftershave. Now the other shaving, shaving cream, uh, this aftershave is a bang on match for that cream. It's fine. Santal Absolute. Yeah, that's uh, absolutely bang on. Fine classic aftershave is an elegantly formulated throwback to a time before men's shaving was refashioned into dermatology. Apply liberally for a remarkable aftershaving sensation that delightfully, that delightfully exceeds the sum of it, its parts. Okay, we'll give it a go. Apply liberally, they said. Yeah, a little weeper there. Oh, good sting. Probably due to all the buffing. Oh, what a scent. That is beautiful. Really nice. And then, to finish it off, the balm. I have the matching balm, which is outer shaving sandalwood essential oil aftershave balm. Comes in this nice little glass jar, nice little pump. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six pumps. <laughs> That's way too much. You'll be here all day rubbing that in. So what? Uh, And this uh, smells exactly like the aftershave and the cream. So today I am a sandalwood smelling shaver. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, that's a nice balm. Easily absorbed.
I hope your shaves uh, feel as good as this one <laughs> or the shave you're about to have this weekend or maybe you've had one last night uh, okay yeah I think one little weeper there but I'm not worried about that because the rest of it feels fantastic okay let's uh, show you what we've used again today the cream was the wonderful Art of Shaving, Shaving Cream Sandalwood Essential Oil. Here we go, easy to lather, very good performing, slick, cushion, glide, everything there. Um, if you've used that or shaving, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's, uh, it's good stuff. Yeah, so that's what we used. Uh, we bowl lathered in the new Flash Boredom sent me this. Very good, plastic. Nice little ridges in there. Yeah, very good. Uh, the razor was the Yaki razor. Quite a long handle. Um, looking at it, it looks quite aggressive, but very mild. An excellent uh, daily shaver. If you're looking for something a little bit different. Uh, the, the knurling on this handle is outstanding. Yeah, very good. And inside that was a brand new trig blade made by Treat sent to me by Flash Boredom again so thank you Flash nice blade very smooth in this razor done the job well look at this no problems <laughs> he says wiping away some little weepers yeah nice razor uh, the brush barber pole handle yucky 24 millimeter synthetic very nice Yucky are uh, doing some great things just now with brushes and razors. So that was the brush. Uh, then had a little face wash with the remainder of the soap. Uh, everything was cold water today. Rinses, uh, the, the rinse after the shave. Um, yeah, everything was cold water. So we rinsed off and started the post shave with Boots Tea Tree and Witch Hazel. Good stuff. The after shave today was fine Santal Absolute um, and I find this aftershave lasts a little bit longer than the other fine aftershaves for some reason, I don't know, it lasts a good on my skin 3-4 hours which is good uh, and then we finished off with the Art of Shaving Sandalwood Aftershave Balm here we go and that is my shave yeah, there's a couple of little dots here, but like I said before, I think it's when I put the aftershave on and I start rubbing my neck and face with my hands. It kind of, it must flare things up again, but I don't care, I feel good. Feels nice. Okay, um, have yourselves a wonderful rest of the weekend. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, to the people that won the giveaway, I've not sent out your stuff yet. I will hopefully be doing it on Monday. I've just not had time to get it boxed up and stuff like that. So I've got some time uh, over the weekend and Monday, hopefully, fingers crossed, all things going well, I will get the, uh, those out, items out in the post to you. Okay, that's all from me for today. Have yourselves a wonderful weekend, whatever you're doing. Um, chilling out, relaxing, spend it with loved ones and family. Uh, yeah, and until the next time, I shall see you soon. Take care of yourselves and have fun. Bye.